very first ever women team out of Africa today venture Mount Everest are in studio today and are about to fill us in on their journey and hopes for this thrilling adventure now connect with us online if you've got any questions for these lovely ladies tweet us at afternoon chat using the hashtag afternoon express or comment on our Facebook page ladies you are such an inspiration and of course the fitness that needs to go into your dreams of course has to be right on top of the incredible bravery and courage that follow but why Mount Everest? Why mountaineering? I mean, I just got so many questions. <laughs> Do you want to start? I can start. So what's the question? <laughs> all of it, girl. <laughs> Let's start now. All of it. Why Mount Everest? So to be honest, I never wanted to climb Mount Everest, but this opportunity, which was started by Alda and then went various routes, <laughs> um, landed in front of me and the opportunity was just way too big. So yeah, super excited and grateful and blessed to be mm. part of this amazing team. And I think that going through something and, and, and having your goal as Mount Everest is so huge and so vast, but where did the beginning of mountaineering start for each of you ladies? And, and why is it so dear to your heart? So I started in 2008. Um, I climbed Kilimanjaro for the first time after listening to a radio station in the interview. And I thought, um, can I do that? And I just started planning. And I ended up summiting in 2008. And after that, I really wanted to continue. But you know, life happens, kids, studies and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, two years ago, our plan started and we got this wonderful group of ladies together. We unfortunately missing Deshan today. Yes. Um, with our logistics company, uh, Ronnie Mule from Adventures Global. And it's just been an absolute adventure for the last two years. And I keep on talking about next year and they keep on reminding me it's this year. <laughs> yeah, it's 2020, girl. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we're and, going. And for yourself, how's the journey been? And how incredible is it that next year is now here? Um, I joined the team quite late uh, in the process, not, not too late though, so I've, I've had a good few months with, with the team uh, from, from last year. Um, my excitement was just the opportunity to have a team where you are focused towards the same goal, an opportunity to share in the glory, an opportunity to share in the tasks, you know, in the objective. So Everest uh, is, is a big mountain and I, I think it's, it's better tackled with a, with a team of women, especially women that are uh, pushing the same dreams, you know, mm. looking at the same objectives. And, and for me, that was very important. Very to be part important, of this team. absolutely. A big mountain that deserves big courage and big hearts. When you're preparing for such an incredible feat, what goes into it? Um, so, yeah, the physical and mental and emotional and spiritual training has been happening for the last year. Mm. It's, it's, you don't go to mountain, you don't go to any mountain and just have one level. It, it's, it's holistic and that's also why I climb because I love the fact that you get all four levels challenged at the same time. So personally myself, I'm with two very special people that have been doing strength training and endurance training. And yeah, it's been 18 months of hard work. So you, you have to, as much as you physically need to be fit, but your mental, your emotional, and of course, how you prepare yourself as well from the inside out matters just as equally. Very important. So one of the books that we all share is Mind Power from, and I know Robin Banks does it quite often. Yeah. And it's really important. I've done some hikes during the year where my mind, mind wasn't at the right place and I struggled. Mm -hmm. And as soon as my mind was right and focused, it just turned the whole table around. Mm. So Everest and Lisa made a really good point. It, it's physical, but mentally as well. Mm. Some people even say that mental is actually more important. Yeah. I don't agree 100%, but yeah. <laughs> no, I, I agree, because life's a mental game. Mm. And it starts and finishes there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Life yep. is a mental game. I mean, mm. I can definitely relate to that mind power course because I was blessed enough to take it when I was 16 years old mm. before I even knew what, it, what I was entering into and the world I was opening myself up to. But I mean, there is power in the mind. And as we spoke about earlier with Focalistic, that you have to plant the seeds of that positivity, plant the seeds of the hard work. Of mm. course, training is as important as one getting that physical right up there. But yeah. ending off by winning is what we're looking for here a lot of South African women are watching you ladies right now and saying I want to do that I want to be that but in whatever industry whatever field it might not be Mount Kilimanjaro but it could be starting a business it could be of course starting a family and of course work and working on yourself as well how do you ladies keep motivating yourselves when you no longer want to do it and also just to start I think has a lot big part to do with it so our pay off line, <laughs> <laughs> our, our pay off line is courage to start, strength to endure. And uh, we yeah. think that 
it, it applies a lot to everything that we do. Um, most of us on the on the team are, are entrepreneurs as well. So the the, the 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 strength that we draw from 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 one another talks to exactly that. That at least you have to start. And it's only after you started that you will you will then understand exactly how to proceed. Yeah. Because until you have started, really, you you, you cannot guess. Yeah. So yeah. for us, there's, there's there's a big drive. You know, if if you are battling to start, maybe that's where you must you must actually do start. Mm. You, know, you must actually start right there. It's very daunting to think of starting starting <laughs> any new venture, mm -hmm. stepping out of your comfort zone and going after your dreams. I mean, they say that nothing changes in your life if you stay in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But of course, you are going to be faced with challenges along the way, whether it's financial, physical, mental, family support, people supporting you, and your own <clears throat> inner demons. How do you overcome some of those challenges and what are the challenges that you ladies are faced with? I mean, one of the biggest things for me is I like to speak to people and walk behind those that have gone before me. Mm -hmm. So I've read a lot of books and spoken to a lot of people that have been on Everest and summited. Um, and a lot of the advice is read everything where everything goes wrong and, you know, so that you get comfortable mentally with the fact that it's not um, clean sailing up the mountain and things are going to go wrong, but people have survived and summited. And if you get comfortable with the discomfort, then it becomes a an easier journey. Yeah, getting comfortable with the discomfort. I was speaking to the Vice Chancellor of UCT actually last year on, on Women's Day and she said the same thing. One of the main things that a human being needs to overcome is un discomfort, not mm -hmm. being comfortable and get comfortable within that discomfort. It sounds crazy and it yeah. sounds absurd but it's definitely possible and we've seen it with you ladies. You don't learn when you're in your comfort zone. Mm. You only learn when you're being stretched and you're only stretched when you step out of your comfort zone. Wow. That is so beautiful mm. and of course a lot of people want to support you. They want to back you ladies and they want to say, hey, as Mzansi, we are proudly backing you ladies. Mm. How can people do that from comments on social media all the way to their room? At the end of the aspect, uh, how, where does that fit in? So support, I think, is very important. It's mm. important from our families. It's important from South Africa because we're going to fly the flag and we're going to be there as South African ladies, and we're very proud of that. Uh, we need support of um, financial. It's, it's a big layout, financial layout. Um, we've got amazing people supporting us already. We've got a big uh, logistics company supporting us. So we do need a lot of support. Um, the public can always support us on our Facebook, Instagram, and our Twitter handle, which is Everest2020SA. Um, and all support is always welcome. All support is always welcome. And all the information on how you can support these Three ladies, four in, of course, the last one's absentia on the screen right now. So definitely take down that information and follow and back our girls because they are making us so, so proud. Finally, before we say goodbye to you ladies, do you have any advice for South African women, not only women, young people, old alike, to step out of their comfort zone and go for gold? We can maybe um, get a last sentiment from each lady. <laughs> yeah. The, the most important thing for women out there is to just be out there step out and look for opportunities and believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself you, you tend to hold back mm -hmm. so just just know that you can in anything that you do absolutely you guys yeah i think the first step for me is um is the journey of self-discovery and self-growth because it all starts with you and you can only affect others when you are the truest part to yourself so i would say be brave and have courage and take the first step. Oh, of course, take that first step. Yeah. So everybody's got different mountains in their life. In our case, it's Everest. But like you mentioned earlier, it might be starting a family, it might be studying, mm. it can be anything. Just go for it, just get started, have the courage to start, and then just the strength to endure. We definitely celebrate you ladies and we'll be backing you all the way as you make this momentous feat, not only being the only full-on women South African team going up Mount Everest, but we want to have the story when you come back and let us know how it went. Thank you cool. so much, ladies, and we Thank believe you. in you. Thanks Thank for you having so us. Thank you. Thank now, after the break, fashion designer Tom Rikozo joins us on the couch.